Freddie Roach is switching stands between his myth sessions, from Southpaw, to Orthodox stands. We have many comments from our previous videos, asking why Freddie Roach is standing in Orthodox stands, while hitting mitts with Pacquiao for Errol Spence fight, who is a Southpaw. Simply to adjust their body mechanics and their footwork for their game plan for Spence fight, by circling around Spence from both sides and create angles. Since mitt sessions allow boxers to practice combinations flows for both offensive combos and defensive moves that can be applied in the fight. Plus it will enhance the eye's coordination with the punches, which can be an effective factor in the fight. Besides sharpen Pac-Man tools in both hands to snap punches when there is opening on both sides. When he was working the mitts with Freddie for just a minute or two, did you see he anything like it. little adjustments and how he, he still, still I mean, he still got it, but yeah. he still he still has angles, he still has, a, he still has those those tangibles that, that, that make him great. So changing angles will create an opening for Pac-Man, which is something Spence is not used to see a lot from his previous opponents. Especially that Spence normally reset his footwork after his offense attack. Or after his defensive moves. As we see here, after Spence resets his position, Danny Garcia circled towards the left side, while Spence tries to follow him with his jab. Then Spence reset his position again. But Garcia changes his angle a bit towards the right side while jabbing. Then Spence fires up his jab. Which creates an opening for Garcia. But he didn't capitalize on it, because of his heavy footwork. With these kinds of openings, Pac-Man will take advantage of it whenever Spence is out from his reset position. Plus changing stands between mid sessions it's not something new to Pacquiao's camp, they have done it in many camps before. And a lot of people are dismissing the fact that Manny Pacquiao has a powerful right hand that has knocked previous champions down. And everyone knows a right hand is the southpaw killer. Especially if Spence tries to corner Pacquiao on the ropes, while loading his left hook or his straight left, which will create opening for Pac-Man to land the right hand. Plus the right hand will give Pacquiao more maneuver attacks options, which will create more opening for Pac-Man to strike. But one thing that we're sure about, that Spence camp they are not underestimating Pacquiao's speed and unpredictability. Then Pacquiao may be fighting for whatever, but he said, I can do that guy. Plus Spence's camp are so smart and technical, especially coach Derek James who will motivate the truth more for the fight. So they will try to eliminate Pac-Man unpredictability by using constant pressure and counting on the middle rounds after adjustments, which will be key in this fight. Unless the truth or Pac-Man ends the night early which will be shocking for all of us as a fan. Look at the faces at ringside. Tell the story. But that's what makes this fight so interesting.